hearing you and it was the best English. The, you are speak English very well. Oh, the teacher is here. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher, Sylvia. Hello, my dear friend. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Hello. What's the studying? Oh, I, nice. I'm looking for food, healthy food. Healthy food? Cool. Healthy food. Yes, lemonade, avocado, cereal, um, tomatoes, um, and lemon, no, uh, orange juice. It's better for the health. Definitely, it is all related to vitamin C. Yes. Yeah, very good. I we have a lot of people here right now. We got eight, but I just want to know. Um, I have a Galaxy J two core. My sweet lady that is wearing like a El Salvador T shirt. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't have you uh, with your name. What, what's your name so I can uh, I can put it for you? Galaxies. Yeah? We cannot hear you. Yeah, better, better, yes. What's your name? So I can get, put your name on here. Ana, Ana Isabel. Ana, okay, cool. Thank you, Anita. That's nice. I'm going to name, <laughs> okay? Yeah. My classmate, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know. I can hear now. Anita, Anita, okay. Anita. Very good. Okay, now I have you, Anita. Very good job. There you go. Ooh. Okay, we're going to wait for the rest. We do have 11 people here. It's been amazing. It's cool. How's your day going so far? How was your day, Madeline? Very good. Very huh? good? Yeah, That's very nice. good. Nice. That's not better than uh, the, the weekend, right? Better than that. The weekend was the best. <laughs> That's working all, always. Yes, I know. You're a hard worker woman. That's amazing. <laughs> very <laughs> good. All right. Yeah. You, Carlos, I like your um, the, the picture frame that you have on your back. I like oh, it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's yeah. my uh, last pet. <laughs> yeah, but it shows be happy. And I like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's it's nice. That is a boy. nice a message. <laughs> yes, actually, it is. Did you buy it or did you make it? Or was it a gift? Oh, uh, repeat again. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, uh, the little frame that you have on the back, did you buy it? Or it was a gift that somebody gave it to you. Oh, all right. sorry, I don't understand. Oh, the the frame, the one that says "Be happy." Oh. Yes. This. Did you buy it? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, I buy it. Yes, sorry. You bought it. Okay, I, cool. I am, I am a little tired today. And uh, I am. That's okay. No problem. But I'm so happy that even though, for some of you, have been a really tough day. Maybe yeah. you have been working, studying, or uh, doing some house chores, I don't know, or then doing all the things at the same time. Because woman, right, Madeline? Woman, we have, a, there, we are like a multitasking. We are like an <laughs> octopus, right? We're taking care of the baby, we're cleaning the house, we're doing the lunch. Yeah, oh my goodness, right? I, so, I didn't uh, at my machine. Exactly. So yeah. we're doing like a five or ten things at the same time. So yeah. I, and yeah. So I'm I'm so happy that even though it has been a tough day for most of you, uh, you have uh take the time or you have been taking the time to be here in class. So I'm just so happy about it to see yes, you guys. Yes. yes, I'm so happy <laughs> because it shows your commitment. Okay, tell me something. Uh, did you do your homework? I, I know that you're about to ask that question, teacher. Yeah. Look at Julie's face. <gasps> oh my Julie, God. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Now we, now we need to, Bye. we're going to, to meet or we're going, yes, another part of Julie's house. Yesterday was the kitchen. <laughs> now I think it's the living room, right? No, the dining room. Dining room. Yes. The dining room, yes. Because we can, we can see the cups. 
behind you. <laughs> uh, right, very good. Can we have a cup of coffee, by the way? We can have a glass of wine. <laughs> a, glass, a glass of water would, would be good. Oh, wine. Oh, wine. Oh, a glass of wine. Oh, may I apologize. Do you want white or uh, um, red one? It would be depends of the food, actually, or the dish of the meal. Okay. Depends. <laughs> with pasta, with steak, uh, uh, with a lobster, a firm, it's different. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What am I sophisticated lady, am I, right? <laughs> hey, is it wine what you're drinking right now? No, it's ah. from me. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Like, okay, it was like, oh, not just kidding. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, orange the, juice. Orange juice. Oh, yes, I love them, especially in the morning. There you go. Okay, I do have 17 people here right now. Right. Miss uh, Vanessa. Good yes, good evening, Mr. Osman. It's been a pleasure to have you here. I want to tell you my homework. Can I? You want to tell me your homework? Oh, can I? Abso absolutely, you can. Okay. Please go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, the first sentence. Uh, there are too many criminals in my city. Very good. Not non count nouns. There is too much insecurity. Oh, very good. Uh, second sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, count nouns. Mm -hmm. There should be fewer. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not not count nouns. There should be less employment. Unemployment. Oh. Okay. Uh, mm. Count nouns. We need more jobs. We need more jobs. Okay. We need more jobs. Uh, non count nouns. We need more employment. Okay. Uh, count nouns. Uh, there aren't enough companies here. Okay. Uh, non com nouns. Uh, there isn't enough enough industry here. There isn't enough industry. There isn't not, there isn't enough industry here. Tell me so, but yeah, yeah, there's really good your your homework actually. But do you think that industry is count noun or uncount noun? Uh, non count noun. Are you sure? Non count noun. Count noun. No, 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 no. The plural. Can you pluralize it? Industry is singular. What about industries? Can you say that? No, no, industry. 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 Yeah. Singular. Industry. industry. Yes, but industry. industry. Uh -huh. But that word, can you pluralize it? Yes. Or you, or you cannot? Yes, we can. So that is not a noun count noun. But that's good. But that's good. Okay. Good job, Osman. Good job. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Very good job. Excellent job. But I, I understand your idea. Yes. And that means that you understood exactly that. This, yeah. You see, Madeline is saying, you say, hi. Very good job. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, <Great>. Madeline. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Because you make your efforts. So it's really, really good. But you understand the concept. And that's really nice. Very good job, Osman. Okay. okay. Who else? <laughs> oh, Omar, thank yeah. you so much for joining today's class. Hi, Omar, how are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, sir. Did you do your homework, by the way? Uh, yes. Okay, can, can, we, can you please be so kind to give it to us? Okay. Of course. Oh, okay, of course, he said. <laughs> Listen carefully. Good appetite. <laughs> Iris Sanchez. Oh, Iris. Yes, yes. Don't worry, Iris. That's okay. I understand that. Cool. Yeah, well, okay I do around five sentences. Okay, cool. Good. Just for right now, I start with count nouns and then we go with uncount nouns, okay? Okay. Cool. Well, with the count nouns, yes. I do. Uh, in this country, we should be less cars. Okay, there should be less cars. Uh, in less cars. In Are you some sure that... cities. Okay, tell me something. Sorry to stop you. Um, uh, do you think that cars is, we can pluralize it? Yes, right? 
Yes, right. Okay. Plural. Do, do we use less with count nouns or with non count nouns? Uh, count nouns. Count nouns. Count nouns. Are you sure? Non count nouns. Exactly. Non -count. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. So so we use fewer, right? With count nouns. Fewer. Yes. Fewer. Yeah, so so use use the same sentence set with fewer. Do, do it again. You can do it. You can do it, Elmer. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, well, yeah. well, the other is there aren't enough safer buses. Very good. Okay, this is good. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, in this country, there is too much. Uh, there's too much bicycle. Bicycles. Bicycles. Bicycles? You mean the transportation? No, bicycle. Bicycles? Oh, yeah. Bicycles? No, motorcycles. Oh, motorcycle. Oh, uh -huh. tell, yes. tell me something. That motorcycle, that now, can we pluralize? Yes. yes. Motorcycle. Motorcycle, yes. motorcycle. Yes. Is it count now or uncount now? Count now, right? Yeah. yeah yes. So do we yes. use too much or too many? <laughs> yes. Okay. Say yes. the same sentence, but with too many. Or no? Yes. Very yeah, good. In this country, there is too many motorcycles. Yeah, good, good. Excellent job. Okay. Yes. Um, there isn't enough windy. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Yes, windy air. <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, okay. Any other sentence that you have? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Cool. Uh, he, in this country, it should be less traffic. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent job. Excellent job. Great job. Great effort. That's nice. You. Excellent. Just as I as I told you guys before yesterday, just having your mind that the word or the noun that you use it is countable or non countable, and you will know which ever of quantity to use. Okay, that is the okay. clue. But it's really really good. Good job. Also, okay, awesome. Thank you. Great job. Um, it's raining so hard. Is it raining? Right now. So hard in this in this place. Oh no! In my house, no, no yet. It's so hard, so hard oh. to rain. Hey, hopefully nothing happens with the internet. <laughs> yes, oh, the windy the is hard. Oh my God. Uh, you see, Omar, why you mention windy? <laughs> oh, right. sorry, yes. I don't know <laughs> it's windy. <laughs> and here too is uh, a lot of windy. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that's good. Okay, good job. Patricia, did you do your homework? Yes. Okay, yes, let's listen to her. Go ahead. I have a problem. I'm sorry. Okay. It's raining. It's raining. Yes. Okay. Okay, so let, let, we're going to give you like a moment. Yeah, I can listen to you. Yes. Nay, you know what? It's not raining also yet. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's do your best. Go ahead. For example, I have too many cars. Very good. Cars. I okay. Uh, I have too much water. Okay. In my city, I have too many motorcycle taxis. Very good. Yes, definitely. Okay. Any other sentences? I have enough money. <laughs> Very good. That's a really good one. Yeah, all of us. Yeah, basically. Okay. Any other one? That's it? Only, that's it. Okay, that's good. Great job, excellent. Good job. Monsieur Francisco Marano. Bonsoir, monsieur. Hello, hello. Good night. Hi. Good night. Good night. Do you have any sentences for us today? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's listen to you. Uh, okay. Um, Uh, about the quantity, the count and non-count nouns, right? That is exactly right. Okay, okay. Um, there is 
uh, too much water right now because of the raining. Definitely, that's a good example. Um, what else? Um, uh, there is uh, there there aren't um, a lot of. Are there a lot of, or there aren't enough? And there aren't enough uh, buses right now. Okay. There aren't enough, is, enough yeah. buses right now. And what else? Mm. Um, I don't know. Okay, no problem, but great job. Good try. That was nice. Okay, Maria. Hi. Hi, how are you, my girl? Very good. Okay, could you, please, could you please be so kind to give us your homework? Okay, and count now. Mm -hmm. We have too many motorcycles. Definitely. And, and there should be fewer, fewer discotheques. Okay. Um, number three, we need more parks in the city. Okay, yeah, nice. Four. There aren't enough park stations. Definitely. Okay, non contact. Mm -hmm. There is too much delinquency in San Salvador. Yeah, delinquency, yes, definitely. Delinquency. Mm -hmm. There should be less traffic for the quarantine. Very good, quarantine. yes. Quarantine, yes. We need more public parking. Yes. And the last one. There isn't enough animal shelter. Very correct? good. Yes, that's correct. Okay. That's nice. Really, very good job. Congratulations. Excellent it's job. Difficult. It's difficult to me. <laughs> I know it's difficult. But yes. that, that's the only way that you learn it. Practice. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, you, so basically, guys, you practice the writing, okay? And you're going to practice writing today, I promise. <laughs> All right, Arturo. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Pretty I'm fine. good. I love the color of your t-shirt today. Oh, thank you. It's really, Yellow. it's a happy color, actually. Like me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> happy definitely. Like me. Very good. Okay, tell <laughs> us uh, about your homework, please. Yes. Uh, there should be more veg vegetarian restaurants in my city. Okay, I'm agree with that. That the first one, second one. We have so much things to be grateful with with our life. Very good. The second one and the finally, there should be less hate and um, racism in the world. Very good, excellent job. Only three. Yes. <laughs> what happened with the rest? Yes. Okay. Uh, I I am. I I just I just did that. Okay, but, but but you did it really good, so that's why. Excellent job, thank you. Julie. Thank you, thank you. Hello, how are you? Oh my God, are you eating? Oh yeah. no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, no, don't I'm worry. Ready. I'm ready. You're ready? Okay, cool. I just did my homework right now. Oh, okay. She's so, sincere. The first one would be: there are too many students at at the marketing career. Okay. There should be fewer questions at the interview test. No, I'm not agree with that. <laughs> we need more good decisions taken by our government. Okay. Or our president. Okay. Um, there aren't enough amusement parks. Very good. I'm agree with that as well. Okay. <laughs> what about non count nouns? There is too much ice at the refrigerator. Okay. In the freezer. Okay. There should be less milk in my cup. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. I need to open the door for yes. a second. I, I thought it was a buzzer. Uh, time out. Okay, but that's good. Excellent job. Okay, in the meantime, when she comes back, let's listen to somebody else. Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. Julie, we're going to listen to Vanessa right now. Go ahead. Okay. Um, we 
need more alcohol help in the office. Okay. Um, we, there isn't enough paper in the machine. Okay. In the printer machine. In the printer machine, very um, good. Um, in the office, we need more elevators. And there are too many children in the class. Okay. We need more hot water in the office. We need more hot water in the office. Really? Uh -huh. To make a cup of coffee, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> or to make some tea? <laughs> That's great. Okay. I'll call uh, help. Yes, good. That's good. Uh, my example. That's great. Also, guys, this is alcohol, right? This one. But also, you can, because this one you use to clean your hands, right? So basically, you call hand sanitizer. Okay? That's the way you call it. Hand sanitizer. Because basically, what you do is to open it this like this, right? And then you clean it up your hands. Okay? So basically, that is called hand sanitizer. Okay, that's a new word for you, isn't it? Yes. Yes? It's yeah. a name for it. Sanitizer. It is very common in this season. <laughs> yes. Sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Sanitizer. Okay, I wrote it already on the, on the chat. Hand sanitizer. That's the way you call oh. it. Okay? Okay, that's cool. Very good job. Alberto, did you do your homework, sir? <laughs> no, yes? Because I couldn't have him yesterday. Okay, that's okay. No problem about that. Okay, that's okay. So you're going to do it tomorrow. So you will have two homeworks. Today, yesterday's homework and today's homework. Isn't it oh, yeah. amazing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, teacher, you're bad. No, I'm not bad. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, very good I job. I Guys, today we're going to have so much fun. Of course, we're going to continue with the tangle twisters. I have a great one right okay. now. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. We're going to listen. Also, we're going to do practicing the listening skill because, as I said before, we're, this week is listening, right? So we need to practice right. the listening skills. And also, guys, we're going to practice the writing today as well. And yes, the writing. We're going to practice the writing. So you, it's it's different when you say it than when you write. It's different. Yes. Because sometimes you can write. make a mistake, right? You can eat one letter, for example. You can add an extra letter, right? Or you're missing punctuation. That for me, is punctuation is really important. Okay? Yes. Okay. You know what? I remember when I was studying English. I was, I was 14 years old by then. It was yesterday, okay? And live it like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. And they gave me six, uh, nine sentences. All of them were perfect, except for three that I missed the period at the end of the sentence. And because of that, instead of getting nine, I got six. <gasps> and I asked the teacher why. She told me, you know what? You, were, you missed the period. For, that means to me that you still have something to say because you didn't put the period at the end of the sentence. So something was missing. Because of that, you gotta run. Oh my God. And I was like, I was really, really mad because, because of that little thing, I got six instead of nine. So since then, I will never forget the punctuation, never in my life. She said, I don't care how you speak Spanish or how you write Spanish. But I do care how you write English. So like, oh my God. So I had, I had a really tough English teachers as well. So that's why I'm on tough. <laughs> yeah, but it's really, and that okay. was grammar. Actually, my grammar teachers were uh, British. Ones. Okay. So I that's learned- a British accent. I do have a British accent. Actually, yes, I do have a British yeah. accent because that's the way I learned it. Yeah. That's why I ask you where where are you from? I'm from El Salvador, yes. Central America. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, but I I am from El Salvador, but that's that's why I'm have this accent. And also since I speak another language, when you speak more than one language, your tongue needs to be like 
like to start French, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's I why have, I have a different accent now as well. I have heard you some words in French. Oh. I know a little bit of French as well. Okay. Maybe we can meet one day, only you and me, without the other one, and we can uh, practice French. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Okay, I'm just teasing you guys, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, so let the party start. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you yeah. guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let the blood begin. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yes, my students. Hello. I'm listening to uh, you. I do the homework and you check me. Oh, because course. I'm not sure if it's right. Don't worry, I'd be glad to. Go ahead, my dear. Okay, we issue more traffic restrictions. Okay. Um, El Salvador have too many busy roads. Busy what? Um, El Salvador mm -hmm. have many, too many busy roads. Oh, okay. Um, there is, should be all? fewer accidents. Okay. There aren't enough road works. Oh, okay, very good. Um, there are too much congestion. We need less uh, pollution. The city should provide more road maintenance. Mm -hmm. There aren't enough money for traffic necessities. Okay, very good. There aren't enough money. Nice. Enough money? Money is count or uncount now? Uncount. Uncount. So is uh, are it enough or isn't enough money? Isn't enough. Isn't enough. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because money you cannot count. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, but that's okay. A, a Osman asked one question. What was the second sentence that you said? Can you please repeat it? The second sentence. El Salvador have too many busy roads. Yes. What she she really wants to know what, what does it mean? Busy roads, it's uh, the street is crowded, um, full. It's busy all day, um, how many cars? It's like three for bicycle. No, it's for... for I understand uh, because I I I look in what's the meaning, but in English I understand and explain. Uh, the busy road is when the street is all day and it's, it's like a principal street and it's busy road. It's not exactly a traffic stop. Don't worry, I, not, I understand. Um, Don't worry, I understand. That's good. You yes, see, very good. Thanks, thanks it is. Yes. I asked Iris to explain it to you because she has to speak and use the vocabulary that she knows. Very good. Excellent job. Excellent job. Sorry, Iris. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have awesome. a question. I don't understand what? why you why you say it, the money is not count non content. Be, uh, I think it's count is count because the money we, we can count the money the generally money. generally not in general itself no but if you I have a free have you in your pocket yes or if you have it in a container for example yes you can do it like we cannot count money oh. no well I'll, Yes, I know. We're we're going to fight. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm <laughs> going to. Say, I will send it to you an explanation about that. Okay, directly to you, so you will have it clear. Don't worry about that. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Excuse me. Sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. like it's, it's, it's like water. Uh, yes. Water is not no 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 count no count. Mm -hmm. But when we say lots of water, it's countable. Of course. It's it's like it's, it's, it's similar. exactly like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Cool. Okay, guys. So today we're going to talk about indirect questions. Any idea what it's about, or have you used it? When you say "excuse me," can you tell me? Yay! Oh, and you know what? It look look at Mr. Mahano's face. Excuse me. Can you tell me? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I think he has used it a lot. 
especially to ask some uh, directions to a girl, isn't it? Uh, no. Yeah, no, just kidding. Okay, very good. But yes, you're right, Mr. Mahana. You're right about that. Actually, basically, guys, we have direct questions and indirect questions. Mm -hmm. But this, and we use more direct questions than indirect questions. Normally, guys, the direct questions, we use it uh, when we, for example, know the person. Right now, since I know you, because you're familiar, right? We are, we are a team, we're friends, right? We can mm -hmm. ask each other that, those questions because we know each other. However, it is really important that you learn how to use indirect questions because, uh, when you use it when somebody you don't know for the first time. For example, if you know somebody for the first time, you have to use indirect questions, no direct ones, because it sounds rude, okay? For example, if Hoffman is the first time that you see me, you're not going to say, hey, what's up? You know, I was like, oh my God, why he's talking to me like that? It's the first time that we know each other and he's like too familiar, no way, yeah? So that's why it is really important to exactly ask the same type of question, but more formal way, more polite way, okay? okay. And that, that's why we're going to learn indirect questions. That's the example that Francisco gave us. Yes, that will be the indirect question. We're going to learn how to use it with the bird to be, with the bird do, with the bird did. Okay, that's what we're going to learn today. And Teacher. it's important. Yes, go ahead. I'm listen to you. Indirect question is more polite. Yes. Okay? Let me okay. show. Let me show it to you right now. Okay. What will be the difference? I'm going to share my screen, and I promise, Madeline, I'm going to open wider. Okay. Oh, I don't see Madeline. I what? think she's not here. Maybe something happens with her um, internet. Might be. That might be right. Maybe by this term. Oh. Yes. Okay. Hopefully she can join for the class. It's raining. Is it? Yeah. Here it's raining too. Okay. Let's wait. And I want you guys to let me know if you can see my screen as well. Okay. Okay, yeah, guys, so would you like me to put it wider? Wider will be much better. I cannot read it, teacher. You cannot. Okay, cool. So uh, let me just for a moment. I'm going to open it wider. I can see very really nice. Yeah. Okay, now you can see it? Yes. No, it's better. Better. Yeah, it's okay. much better. All right, cool. Okay, guys. So. We're going to learn right now the difference between the direct and indirect questions. Could you please be so kind to read it for me? Let's practice reading. Raul. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Very good. Go ahead. Can you please read for me, sir? What is the difference between direct and indirect questions? Direct questions might be considered rude when speaking to strangers. To be more polite, we often use indirect question forms. Indirect questions serve to then the same purpose as direct questions, but are considered more formal. Exactly. That's what I, that was explaining to you, uh, to all of you, Mary, that, uh -huh. yeah, that's the difference. Okay, guys, so for example, yes, uh, but let me ask you before I continue, any vocabulary regarding this um, definition? Any new words for you? No? Is it clear? Yes, teacher, that's clear. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, so for example, direct questions, you see, it might be considered rude or offensive. Mm -hmm. If you speak to a stranger, that means the people that you know just for the first time. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we use indirect question because it's more polite. Okay. Okay. It's more polite. You see, more we polite. use other of quantity. More polite. Okay. It be, and it's exactly, guys, the same way, the same thing that, or the same information that we have the direct question, but we consider more formal. Okay. So that's what we're going to learn today. Is it good? Okay. Cool. More polite and more formal. 
Yes, let's continue with that, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. There you go. Can you see it? Yes, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. If this part, the, the left side, guys, it would be the direct question, okay? And the right side is the indirect question, okay? Okay. So I want you guys right now just to pay attention basically on this part, on the right side, on this one, okay. This is the regular way, for example, if you would like to know where you can find a bank, how you can ask that, Arturo. Where is the bank? Where is the bank? Exactly. That's a normal way to ask it, right? Yes. Yes. But I can ask you, hey, Arturo, where's the bank? Because you are my friend, because I know yeah. you. But if, for example, I, with Anita, is the first time that I see her, I cannot ask her, hey, where's the bank? Are you talking mm -hmm. to me? <laughs> Who you are, by the way. Okay, you see? Mm -mm. That's not the right way. I, go, I need to use the indirect question. Now, guys, take a look at the I right side. Question. Okay, this one, the right side. Take a look at this one. Okay. Could you tell me where the bank is? You see? Could you tell me? Guys, Could this one. Could. Could. How do, Could. What is the name of this in grammar? Could is a model verb, right? Yes. And, and, and also in the past of can. But in this case, we use it as a model verb. In model verb, we use it for more polite way to express things. Am I asking the same thing? Yes, I'm asking the same thing. I need to know where is the bank. But here, it is more uh, for informal way. And here, it is more formal. Uh, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh, yes, Omar. Uh, cool is similar to wool. It's not similar to wood, but it's, it's a model verb. Ah, okay. It's a model verb, yes. A Remember wood, that we have... Mm -hmm. Wood and wool is similar uh, polite. Yes, this it, it is polite. Mm -hmm. I can use this, the, the, these two words, but to say in indirect question. You can use it, but it depends on what you're going to ask. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. For, you remember the model, the model verbs, guys? Can, could, would, should, may, might, etc. So that depends, okay? Mm -hmm. What Thank some you. of them are more polite than other ones, okay? okay. We're going, to, we're going to say, we're going to see that as well. Okay, guys. So you said, could you tell me this part, guys? Is the extra part that you add? Could you tell me? Okay. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? But Please where the me. bank is? But guys, this Where's is really telling? nice. Take a look at this one. Guys, what, what is the noun here? The bank, right? The bank. Yes. Okay. Where is the noun here? The bank as well. Isn't it? Yeah. Bank. Okay. Yes. Okay. But take a look at this. Normally, the verb to be, we have it before the noun. Is correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. But in indirect question, it's going to be after the noun, guys. This is really important. The structure. Okay. The structure is very important. If you use indirect question, the verb to be goes after the noun. And if you use a regular question, like a direct one, the verb to be is before the noun. Okay? You need to take a, a, a really look at that in detail about it. Okay? Okay, let's okay. practice that. Let's practice the regular way. Where is the bank? Can you please say it, guys? Where is, where, is where, is where is the bank? Okay, now where can you say it in that indirect questions list? Can you tell me where the bank is? Tell me where the bank is. Very good. Can you tell me where the bank is? Yes, and very good intonation, guys. Remember the WH question, the intonation goes Ooh, down. So you said, where is the bank? Could you tell me where the bank is? Very good, excellent. Let's go with the, the second bank? one. Bank is? Okay. Let's go back to the let's go back to the right side. We have another example, guys, with the verb to be. In this case, it's with R. Why? Why is with R? Where are R? the restrooms? Exactly. Where are the rest? 
the restrooms Rest are room. singular or plural? Plural. 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 Exactly. So we want to know where are the restrooms. Rest you know what restrooms are? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that is another way to say bathrooms, okay? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. So I can ask exactly the same question, but in the right way. And here, guys, we use the one, do you know? Do you know? You know where the restaurant is? Do you know where the restaurant is? Where the restaurants are? Do you know where the restaurants are? Do you know where the restaurants are? Very good. Do you know where the restaurants are? Exactly. And and also guys exactly. Do you remember that the bird to be goes at the end of the WH question or after the noun? Okay. You know what the restroom are? Do you know where the restrooms are? Oh, by the way, do you know where the restroom counts? Mm -hmm. You see, there, there are many ways to ask for the indirect questions, guys. But I will show you uh, three ways. Could you tell me? Can you tell me? And do you know? That's what we're going to learn. But we have another expression that as well we can use to, to formulate the indirect questions, okay? We're going to learn it today, okay? Okay. okay, so far, are we good? So far, is it good? Any questions so far? Uh, no, no, no. Is no. it clear like water or like orchard? <laughs> <laughs> like water. Like water, okay. <laughs> like orchata. Who said orchata? No, no, it's clear. It's, it's, it's clear. clear. Okay, okay, Carlitos. Very good job. Okay, cool. Now, guys, let's move forward to the second one. The WH question, but we do or we did? Okay. Okay, we let's did. move on this one. Okay, guys, very good. Okay. We have, how, okay, guys, very, take a look at this one. I want you to pay attention to this one. Take a look at the first one. How often do the bosses leave? Can you please read it, Carlitos? The, oh. the first question, please, if you don't mind. Okay, how often, oh, sorry, uh, how often do the bosses leave? Very good, guys. Okay, guys, here in this question, uh, this is a WH question as well, but what is the noun? The bosses. The bosses. The bosses. Uh-huh, is it plural? So that's yeah. why, is it present or is it past? Present. 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 Why? Because we have the auxiliary do. Is that yeah. correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. What's the main verb here? Live. 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 So we the have verb. the noun, the bosses, the auxiliary do, and the main verb live. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. okay, cool. Okay, guys. Now take a look at the indirect question here. Let's first of all identify in the indirect question the, the noun. What is the noun here on the right side? Yes. Is it the same? Yes. The same. It is yes. the same. It's the, the same. Bosses. The bosses. The bosses. Very good. Exactly. Okay, now guys, tell me something. Uh, what is what is the main verb here? Live. 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 Okay, cool. Live. 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 Can I ask you, do we use um, auxiliary here? No. No, we don't. No, no. So that is one of the oh. differences as well. Exactly. Okay. When we translate the same idea, and we would like to say that in an indirect way, guys, with in present tense, we do not use the auxiliary. Okay, this is really important. So that's why I want. That's why we're going like a detailed information on each part of the sentence because of one reason. I want you to be clear about that. Okay. So you see, okay. how often do the bosses leave in indirect way? Can you tell me how often the buses leave? That's good. We don't we don't need the auxiliary here. Okay. We don't need it. Now let me ask you, is it clear right now? Yes? Okay. Yes. Osman, I I see you yes. like a big question mark here. No? <laughs> okay. Um not teacher. No, okay. thanks. For the okay. moment. For the moment. All clear. Okay. For the moment, I clear. Okay, take a look at the second exercise, guys, or se second sentence, because this is really tricky. Okay, um, Francisco, could you please be so kind to read it for me? 
Uh, which one? The second the, one. This one. The second one. Mm -hmm. what okay. The uh, what time does the bank open? Very good. Is it present or past, guys? It's present. Present, present. right? Present. Still present. present. Okay. Tell me present. something. Uh, what is the noun? The bank. The, the bank. bank. The bank. The bank. Okay. Is it plural or singular, right? Singular. Singular. Very singular. good. Singular. First, second, or third person? Third person. Third Third person. Exactly. Like because of the dos. Exactly. It. So, and tell it. me, what is exactly, Osman? What is the main verb here? Open. 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 Exactly. So, Open. do you remember the rule that if we use dos? This one transforms the question on the third person, so the main verb, we, are, we do not conjugate. Is that correct? We leave correct. it in the base form. Is it correct? It's correct. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. And correct. this is basically the direct question. Okay, guys, take a look at this one because this is change when we transform and we use it in the indirect way. Okay, guys, let's go back and identify again the noun. We have it here, the bank, okay? The bank. Yes. Bank. Very good. What time the bank open? Exactly. Now, guys, we have the main verb in this case, it's open. Aha, uh -huh. but take a look the at this one. Change. Take the a look at changes. this one that is really important. No, it, it doesn't change really, but I would like to take mm. a look at this one. Okay, um, yes. guys, we do not have the auxiliary here. Okay? Exactly, because the is in, okay. I'm sorry. Exactly, so it's, and we're talking about the third person, so this one follows the regular rule. The, the bird needs to be a accordate uh, or coordinated with the subject, okay? If we're talking about mm. third person, okay. the bird needs to be in third person because we're not using okay. the auxiliary. So that's why we said the, op the bank opens, okay? And since we use the main bird in a third person, a third person's away, also guys, we put it at the end of the question. So in present tense, you see, we do not use neither the auxiliary do, or the auxiliary does. Is it clear? Yes? We have the auxiliary here, it does. We have, we do not conjugate the verb. But in indirect way, we do not use the auxiliary. We need to conjugate the verb in third person because yes. the subject is the bank, is it. It's okay? Correct. Is it good? Okay. okay. Any questions? Not for the okay, moment. we're good. Okay, let's move on to the third exercise or the third sentence. Now we're going to use D as a path. Go ahead, listen to you. When did fly 566 arrive? Very good. Okay, guys, tell me, this question, is it in past or in present? Yes, it is in past. In past. How we know that? Because the verb did. did. Okay, of the auxiliary did. did. This is the past of which verb? Past. Do. 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 Yes. Do. Do. Exactly. Do. exactly. So if we use the auxiliary did in the past, what no. happens with the main verb? Do I have to conjugate it? Yes or no? No. 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 What is the main verb in this particular uh, question? Arrive. 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 Very good. So when did 5566 five, arrive? Okay. Very good. Now we need to ask the same question, but an indirect way. Okay, how do we use it? Take a look, guys, again, on this particular side. We do have, in this case, the, the subject, flight 566. Is it correct? Yes. Okay. But what? where is the verb? It is arrive. arrive. Exactly. Arrive. 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 Okay. Tell me something, guys. Uh, do we use the auxiliary did on this particular question? No. No, we no. don't. The reason. That's what, exactly. That's why we need to conjugate the verb in the past because we're, yes. we're talking about the past. So in this case, this is regular or irregular verb. Regular, 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 regular verb. Yes, since we already have it in E, all we have to do is to add it the D. And we convert it into, re, into past tense. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, and also, guys, in the Android questions, all the verbs will be after the subject you see after the subject after the subject if it's in present 
we need to conjugate it if it's in third person. It's in past, we need to conjugate, okay? Because here, guys, we do not use the auxiliary. No do, nor does, no did. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Yes? yes? <laughs> Are you sure? You sound More tired, less. guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. For example, okay, let's practice a pronunciation. Would you like that? Yes. Okay, cool. We already practiced the verb to be, now we practice with do or did. Okay, but allow me one moment because I'm going to raise things so you can see it more clearly, okay? Sure. Yes, I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Before the, the, the exercise, I have a question. Go ahead, the, I'm listening to you. And the WH question with, the, with do or did. Okay. And the first one, mm -hmm. we use do. Because we are talking about bosses as a plural, as I mean, like they. Exactly. And the second one does because it's a singular and it's a third person. That is correct. That is the rule. I have I have problems with that. That. Yes, that is the rule. Do you? Re that is a like a pre simple present. Do you remember that we use the auxiliary do or does? Mm -hmm. All that you have to remember is that do we use it with I. We, you, they, and thus we use it with he, she, it. Okay. And that's it. As long as you remember that, you first of all, my suggestion will be that no matter if it's a question or if it's a sentence, you need to identify, first of all, what is the subject. Okay. And then when you identify the subject, you will know whether you use do or does. Okay. 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 It's exactly that we have done today. That's why, because I want you to make sure that you know that you could identify, guys, the parts of a sentence, or in this case, the parts of a question. Okay. It's mm -hmm. really important. Okay. Are you guys ready for the pronunciation? Yes, you are. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Repeat after me. We're going to the second part. W questions okay. with do or did. How often do the bosses leave? How, how often, often do, you do the buses leave? leave? Can you tell me how often the buses leave? Can you tell me how often the buses leave? Very good. What time does the bank open? What, what time, time does, does the, the bank, bank, bank open? open? Okay. Do you know what time the bank opens? Do you know you what know time, what the, time the bank opens? Very good. When did Flight 566 arrive? When did flight 566 arrive? Do you know when flight 566 arrived? Do you know when flight 566 arrived? Very good. Okay, let's practice now, guys. We're going to. It's going to be girls versus boys. Okay. <laughs> okay, my babies. I wanna hear you. Okay, girls. You're going to do. You're going to say that direct part. And the guys will say it the indirect part, okay? Okay. So we're Perfect. going to practice, first of all, the WH question with B. Okay, girls, could you please be so kind to say the first question? Let's listen to you. Where is the bank? 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 Okay. Where is the bank? Okay. Where is the bank? Everybody rest. Yeah. All the girls together, okay? I want to hear you, everybody, together. Go ahead. One more time, girls. Where is the bank? Where is the bank? Where is the bank? Where is the bank? Okay, okay. Only, only the first question. Where is okay. the bank? Where is the bank? Very good. Okay, guys, can you please answer that in an indirect way? Could, Could you tell, tell me tell where, where, where the bank, bank, is? bank is? Fantastic. Now, girls, second question, please, would be. Where are the restaurants? Very good. Guys, can you please answer? Do you know, Do you where, know where the restaurants are? Very good. Now, guys, we're going to do the opposite way. You're going to start. WH question with did or do, you're going to say that the red way. Can you please say it? The first one, guys? How, How often do the buses live? Very good. Can you please answer it in an indirect way, girls? Can you tell me how often the buses live? Very good. Second question, guys, the right way. What time does the bank open? Very good. Second question, and under the way, girls. Do you know what time the bank opens? Very good. And last question, guys, the right way. 
Okay, I know again because I need to hear that you are making an intonation. Go ahead. When did five six five arrive? That's arrive. what I want to hear. Okay, very good. Girls, can you please say it in the indirect way? Do you know Do when fly when fly five arrive? Excellent. Oh, wow. You are amazing. Okay. Yes, we are. Okay, you're so humble as well. <laughs> okay, very good, guys. Excellent. So let's practice as well. It's time for you to speak. Okay. Okay, guys, let me share right now as well my screen. Because it's time for you to speak. I have some exercises for you. Don't you like it? Yes, I know that you like it. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Can you see my screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Yes. Okay, so it's your turn to speak. Okay, I have one, two, three, four questions, guys. Uh, they are basically an indirect, no, direct way. So you need to transform direct. it in indirect way. Okay. 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 Volunteer. Thank you, Vanessa. Go ahead with the first one. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Uh, uh, Jose de la O, can you please say it in the direct way? Uh, Just read the first question. How much do taxes cost? Okay. No, again, with the question intonation, please. How much the, do taxes cost? Very good, excellent job. Can you please say that in underrated way, Vanny? You can do it, Vanny. Can you can you tell me how uh, much mm -hmm. the taxi cost? Cost or cost? Cost. Excellent. Very good job. All right, Patricia. Can you please read for me the second question? Where shall I go shopping? Very good. Gerardo, could you please say it in underrated way? Uh, could you tell me uh, where, no. could you tell me where I should go shopping? Okay. Okay, very good. Don't worry, Osman, I'm going to explain that as well. I know you have a big question mark. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Now, Osman, could you please be so kind to read it for me the third question? Where, where, where can I get a map? Very good. Can you please answer in underrated way, Francisco? Um, can you tell me where I can get a map? Mm -hmm. Very good. And the last one, Claudi, could you please be so kind to read it for me? We cannot hear you, Claudio. Uh -uh, we cannot hear you. You need to unmute yourself. Can you hear her, guys? No, right? Nope. No, no. I can't. Where is a good place to meet? Hi. Very good. Yes. Now we can yes. hear you, Claudita. Go ahead. Where's a good place to meet friends? Very good, excellent intonation. Now, Maria, it's your time to set it in the Android way. Uh, can you tell me where is a good place to, to make friends? Okay, very good, excellent job, guys. Okay, it's really hard, right? Or you think it's easy? No, no right? <laughs> okay, I know. But you need to get used to it, guys, to different ways to say exactly the same things. Uh, I just want to share with you some expressions because could you tell me, I want to know, there are more expressions that, or phrases that you can use with indirect uh, questions. So let me share right now with you my screen. Can you see it, guys? Yeah. 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 Cannot read. You can. You cannot read it. No. Are you sure? Yes. Kind of erased, but I can. But. You can or you can't. No, you can't. 
I cannot. I can. I can. It's not clear. The image not, is not clear. It's not clear. Okay. I'm going to fix it. As I told you before, the teacher can fix everything. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you know, I apologize for that. All righty. It's my English, please. <laughs> yes. So I can fix it for you. So allow me just one moment. We'll take just a quick click. And that's all. Oh, oh, teacher. Yes, of course. <laughs> all righty. Yes. I just want to show it to you because there's also many other ways that you can exactly say the things. All righty. So let me share right now my screen right now with you. Madeline. Madeline. Madeline's here? No, she's not. Oh, I miss her. You miss her? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tell me. Okay. Allow me just one moment because this is not what I want to share with you. Quantify. There you go. Okay. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. So tell me something. Um, who's, uh, Gerardo, could you please be so kind to read it for me? Another phrases that we can use with indirect questions, please? Okay. Uh, phrases for indirect questions. Could you tell me? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know? Mm -hmm. I was wondering. Mm -hmm. uh, do you, you have any idea? Mm -hmm. I'd like to know. Uh, will it be possible? Is there any change? Is there any chance? Chance. Chance, exactly. Is Very good. Chance? Is there any chance? chance. Exactly. Ch yes. Chance. Hay algún chance? Okay, <laughs> exactly. Like in Spanish, right? Sorry, my Spanish is wrong. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, so you see, we have a use, guys. Could you tell me? And do you know, right? Could you tell me? Mm -hmm. We have used, could you tell me or can you tell me? And do you know? You this is me? the most common tell ones. Me? But also, you can use uh, all of them. I was wondering, mm -hmm. do you have any idea? I'd like to I'm know. Me preguntaba, I was wondering. Yeah? Me preguntaba, sí. Yes. Exactly. Okay, guys, let me double check right now if we can practice the listening part. Because it's going to be really good. Yes, we can practice the listening part. That's what I want to practice right now with you. And the tongue. Twister. Ah, the tongue twister. Yes, of course, we're going to practice that as well. I have a tongue twister for you. Okay, bear with me for a moment. There you go. Let me share my screen. There you go. Yes, Julie, I know that you love it. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. I just want you guys to pay attention on the listening part, how the indirect question is used. In this case, it is a guy in a hotel that is asking many questions about, for example, where is the restaurant, where is the bank, etc. Okay? So please 19, pay attention. 1900s. Because of the Good morning. I need a little help if you don't mind. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Well, uh, could you tell me where the nearest bank is? I need to change the money. A uh, bank, yes. There is one just across the road. Right opposite, in fact. Anything else? Um, oh, do you know what time it opens? It opens at nine, so it's already open. Thanks, great. I'd better get across now then. Um, oh, one last thing. Can you tell me when the restaurant stops serving breakfast? I haven't eaten yet. Uh, breakfast stops at ten, but you can still order other food in the restaurant any time. Okay, great. Thank you for that. I'd better get going. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. Very good. Did you notice how to use the Android questions? Would you mm -hmm. like me to play it one more time? Yes, please. Was it difficult yes, to please. understand? No. 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 It's clear. <laughs> What's clear? Okay, cool. One more time. Uh, good morning. I need a little help if you don't mind. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Well, uh, could you tell me where the nearest bank is? I need to change the money. A uh, bank, yes. There is one just across the road. Right opposite, in fact. Anything else? Um, oh, do you know what time it opens? It opens at nine, so it's already open. Thanks, great. I'd better get across now then. Um, oh, one last thing. Can you tell me when the restaurant stops serving breakfast? 
I haven't eaten yet. Uh, breakfast stops at 10, but you can still order other food in the restaurant anytime. Okay, great. Thank you for that. I better get going. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. Okay, cool. Guys, tell me, according to what you have heard, uh, what is exactly the questions that the customer uh, said or asked for? What he wants to know first? Can you tell me the nearest, the bank? The bank, exactly. What else? What time, what time the bank open? The bank open. The open. Only the bank opens or also he was angry, right? Okay. Yes, to open to a restaurant. Very good. Restaurant. Okay, and one, and one last question. What time the restaurant stop serving breakfast? Exactly, very good. So you see that in the in, this is the first time because they do know each other. No. No, no right? No. He was a receptionist and a client or a customer. Mm -hmm. So in this way. Guys, and direct questions is really nice to use because you use it in a professional way, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like in this case, she was a stranger. He was a stranger because there were no friends. So and direct question is really important to use it because it's more polite way to say it, okay? okay. Do you, do you uh, recognize how they use it? And you see, it's really important to use it because if you travel, if you go to another place, a restaurant, a hotel, or in your job, for example, this is the first time that you meet a client, or it's the first time that you meet your boss or any other, or a CEO, for example, <laughs> you will need to use that in an indirect question because you can yes. say, hey, hi, hey, buddy, how are you? What's up? What's going on? No, you cannot say that. No way. It's fire. Okay, no, you see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, so it's really important to also how to learn to say exactly the same thing that you're going to ask in a regular basis with your friend but in a formal way. And that's why mm -hmm. it's really mm -hmm. important to learn how to uh, say the things in an underrated way. Okay, you see mm -hmm. why it's really important? Okay, cool. Are you ready to uh, to practice the tango twisters? Yes. Yay. Yay. Hey, let's start. Okay, cool. This is going to be the last part. So I just want you to pay attention to the underrated question. Guys, we're going to uh, practice the B. B as in boy. Okay? Okay. That's what we're going to practice. At first, guys, this is, since we're going to uh, to develop the listening skill, uh, we're still learning the development and listening skill, also with Tango Twisters. But I just want you guys to, first of all, listen to the pronunciation of the Tango Twister, and then we're going to practice it, okay? Okay. Okay, okay cool. Okay, can you see it? Yes? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Very clear. Yes. Yes. Very clear. This is what we're going to learn. The b, b, b. Okay. So listen carefully. A big black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. No. Okay, one more time. Uh, a big black bug bit a big black dog on his black, black bug. nose. Just listen. A big black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. <laughs> one more time, okay? And then we're going to practice. <laughs> black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. A big black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. Easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Easy peasy queasy. Okay. For me. A big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. A big bug a big black dog beat a big black, black, big black, 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 black bug on his big, 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 big black nose. Big black dog on his big black nose. Right? Oh no. Oh my God. You see, <laughs> guys, this is really tricky because you can see that this is a short tongue twister, but it's complicated. It's yes, more complicated yes. than yes, it's complicated. the other one yesterday. And sometimes because yes, for yes. some of us, it's, it, it, there's, there are some sounds in Spanish that are similar in English. So it's really mm -hmm. easy for us to pronounce it. However, in English, there are some sounds that we do not have in Spanish and vice versa. So when that happens, is that when it's complicated for us to pronounce it. So that is in this way. 
Okay. Okay, who can say the faster way? Thank you, Gerardo. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my okay, God. Teacher. Go ahead. A, a big black dog beat a, beat a big black dog on his big black, black nose. Not too bad. Very good. Okay, good for the pronunciation. But now I just want faster. Julie, go ahead, please. Big black bug with a big black dog and his big black dog. Oh <laughs> Almost there. Almost. Okay, Jose de la Hoa, I know you can do it. Come on, sir. Sorry, sir. A big black bug big, beat a big black dog on his big black nose. <laughs> Very good. Uh, uh. Osman, can you say it? A big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Very good, very good, good. Uh, you said it in a, in a regular way, right? In a regular speed, which is really good. Good pronunciation. But I want to faster. Uh, faster, fa Mr. Omar, faster, please. <laughs> a big black dog with a big black dog in a big black nose. Oh, 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 isn't it amazing? <laughs> That's nice. Okay, now memory. Go ahead, Arturo. I know. <laughs> a big black, a big black, a big, a big black dog. Big black dog. In a big dog. Oh my God! You don't a remember big, that? No, I I can remember, but my, my a big black dog, a big black dog on a big black nose. A big oh black dog. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to send it to, for you to practice, okay? okay? But you see what is really important the tangle twister? It's really nice, actually. Yeah. It will help you with the pronunciation. Okay, guys, I know you love me. I love you too, but it's time to say goodbye. Okay, please okay. study because tomorrow, hopefully, I'm not sure yet, but it's a possibility that we play Kahoo once again, okay? Okay. And we're going to practice everything that we have seen so far, so you better study. Okay. <laughs> you have two choices. You can study or you can study. study. Which one you prefer? Yes. <laughs> study, right? Yeah. Practice practice. And my best recommendation will be that um, to practice the platform exercises. And I'm going to send it to you guys uh, maybe today, between today and tomorrow, a uh, link for you to practice writing for today's topic, okay? Okay. Okay, thank okay you. cool. Okay. Have a nice night. Take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.